Section 1. Seven Poems from the Lost Ring and Other Poems. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Seven Poems from the Lost Ring and Other Poems by Carolyn Atwater Mason. Selected and recorded by Larry Wilson for Autumn, LibriVox Coffee Break, Collection Number 9. September. The days once more their dainty fare outspread, for nature, roused from dreams and making good at length the promise of her larger mood, no longer doles us out her wine and bread in scanty sort, but pours for us instead her spicy, sweet September. Now the blood of high resolve begins again to flood our nerveless souls, and life wakes duty wed. Nature, wise steward, thou art justified, for thou hast kept the good wine until now, against this tardy bridal, this late vow. Pledging our days to toil while days abide, where are the fallow fields that we may sow and reap the latter harvest ere we go? October of all the twelve bright months thou art the one best loved of nature that with partial care she bids her subtle elements prepare this robe of beauty for her favorite sun this coat of many colors deftly spun from tissues of the rainbow from the rare brave hues of sunset when the day dies fair from misty purple dawnings ere begun is the swift beautiful coming of the light O princely garniture, in dun or ermine or soft greenness dressed, beholding thee thus royally bedight, envy thy state, thou favorite of the year, darling of nature, month without a peer. November Like a late watcher, tired and sleep-inclined, yet patient at her post and smiling still, the year keeps vigil. Look you where you will, in all her wide domain, you shall not find her hand has lost its cunning. Still the wind flays its soft descants, still each rippling rill goes singing seaward, while on every hill the sun pours benediction, bland and kind, as blessed the summer. Still the crickets hide in warm grass, and ever and anon, a bee reels by store laden from the lawn where bloom late flowers alert and open-eyed how fair they sigh with me and oh how dear this lingering sweetness of the dying year october ineffable i am out in the free woods once more with whispering boughs o'erhead strange influences round me steal and yet what deepliest I feel must ever be unsaid. These glowing, glowing autumn hours, these gorgeous, wildering days, this dainty show of painted flowers, as though with dusky golden showers the air were all ablaze. This living, shining, burnished wood, decked with a thousand dyes, its strong ribs laced with crimson sheen, and tricked with gold and glittering green, like kingly tapestries this tangle roof of braided light above me richly flung these glimpses of the sky's soft blue this quivering sunshine melting through this wide earth glory hung how shall i utter all i would alas my struggling soul it strives to voice these glorious things as strives a bird on broken wings to struggle to its goal autumn Oh, the lovely autumn days, when the earth is all ablaze, with a thousand kindling dyes, and a misty glory lies all about our common ways. When a hush is in the air, like an inarticulate prayer, nature underneath her breath giving thanks for life in death. Death so beautiful and rare, life itself were not so fair. Spring is tardy, chainful, fleet, Summer comes with dust and heat, waiting on her flying feet. But the peaceful autumn days, blessed in blessing all her days, 
She it is who mellows well dainty, luscious fruits that swell from the laggard buds of spring and the summer's blossoming. Ah, they need her wholesome touch, lest they ripen overmuch. So with tempered breath she cools all the fevered air and schools nature to her own wise rolls. Then, her labor done, she pours out her bountiful rich stores, lighting up on every hill altar fires and kindling still flames of sacrificial thanks over all her viny banks. Spring is tardy, chainful, fleet. Summer comes with dust and heat, but the peaceful autumn stays, blessed and blessing all her days. In Autumn Put on your beautiful garments, O toiling earth, and rest. The goal is won, and the toil is done. And now you may don your best tour robe of purple and scarlet, your tassels and plumes of gold, the misty sheen of your veil of green, and your mantle's crimson fold. Earth so glad and so fruitful, O nature so brave and true, I would that we were as wise as ye in the works we have to do. We loiter and waste, we sow not or scatter our seed in vain, for the stony field must be wrought to yield its treasure of golden grain. Put on your beautiful garments, O toiling soul, and rest, faint heart of mine, to that call divine. Be all thy powers address, sowing beside all waters, faithful in that which is least, constant and still, do the master's will till the time of toil has ceased. Then the peace that shall come, and the gladness, the service that shall be rest, and the plaudit one of that word, well done. And the masters, come, ye blessed. O earth, in sweet fruition, rejoice and be glad. But this, the joy of a soul that has reached its goal, is a deeper, holier bliss. October Woods a mood blazing woods lit up with splendors rare to sing your state methinks were but akin to his essay whose mocking violin sang burning born these bright bright robes you wear have charms too perilous because they bear the seal of death if only we could win your old look back and stand once more within your aisles of greenness ah this show and glare but mean our banishment. Dear doomed woods where we have wandered the gay summer long, soft flickering sunshine and the wild bird's song, making like Eden your sweet solitudes. A flaming sword guards all your gates in guise of light and beauty. Farewell, paradise. End of seven poems from The Lost Ring and Other Poems by Carolyn Atwater Mason Selected and recorded by Larry Wilson.